Okay, get ready guys. We are starting with roll up for 30 seconds. Remember, don't swing those arms. Draw your belly button to your spine. Exhale as you roll down to that mat. Exhale as you roll off that mat. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. If you find it difficult to roll back up, place a small towel underneath your lower back to support your lumbar spine. Rest for 10 seconds. Get ready for crisscross guys for 30 seconds. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Reach that leg to the other wall. Beginners can keep the legs in tabletop and rest whenever you need to. Press your head into your hands to support those neck muscles. Rest for 10 seconds. Single leg stretches next for 30 seconds. Exhale as you send that leg away. Keep those tummy muscles in. If your neck gets tired, support your neck with one hand. Rest for 10 seconds. 30 seconds of rolling like a ball, guys. Tuck your table and underneath, so soften that lower back. Don't smack your back off the ground. Balance on your tailbone. Don't let your head touch the floor. Don't let your feet touch the floor. Lift your tailbone up to the ceiling and round your lower back into the floor. Rest for 10 seconds. Get ready for side hip lifts for 30 seconds. Beginners can do this option lying on their sides, lifting the top leg only. Make sure you lift that back heel as high as your knee, which activates your glute medius more effectively. Push those hips forward to the front of your mat as you lift up. Rest for 10 seconds. ready for shoulder bridge for 30 seconds. Tuck your tailbone in as you're rolling up and as you're rolling back down. Get every segment of your spine to move. Don't push your rib cage higher than your hips. The movement comes from your pelvis, not your ribs. Rest for 10 seconds. Side hip lifts on the other side. If your shoulder gets tired, take your elbow from underneath you, lie on the mat and just lift the top leg only. Remember to lift that heel as high as your knee or you're not activating those glute medius as effectively. Rest for 10 seconds. Superman is up next guys for 30 seconds. Keep your balance as you lift one hand to the opposite leg.
Make sure you keep your abdominals activated to keep that torso nice and steady. Lengthen your arm to the front wall, lengthen your leg to the back wall. Eyes to the floor to keep that neck neutral. Rest for 10 seconds. We're gonna play with roll up and roll like a ball for 30 seconds. This helps to release your lower back as you roll like a ball. It softens your spine. It opens up your hamstrings as you extend forward. Just be careful not to overreach or overextend those arms. Gently draw your tummy muscles in to help support your lumbar spine. Rest for 10 seconds. Push-ups with shoulder taps for 30 seconds. Hands nice and wide. Get your chest as low to that mat every time. Beginners can take a rest as often as they need to. And advanced people go up onto your toes. Keep your abdominals active to help support that lower back. Rest for 10 seconds. Let's get ready for plank for 30 seconds. Remember your lower back is not arched. Draw those tummy muscles in to keep that support for your lower back. Keep breathing into the nose, out through the mouth. Don't let the pelvis drop too low. Beginners, you guys can drop to your knees as often as you need to. Rest for 10 seconds. Get ready for swimming for 30 seconds. Beginners can keep one hand, one foot on the floor at all times. Make sure you tighten your abdominals in. They're not wobbling on that mat. Keep your eyes to the floor and keep reaching the arms to the front wall, feet to the back wall. Rest for 10 seconds. Single knee beats for 30 seconds. Remember beginners, keep both feet on the floor. I want you to tighten those abdominals to take the pressure off that lower back. Imagine you're squeezing an orange between those shoulder blades, guys, to activate those arms. Rest for 10 seconds. Get ready for power planks for 30 seconds. Beginners can drop the knees to the floor into child pose every time. Don't let those hips drop too low in plank. Rest for 10 seconds. Next up is down dog into plank for 30 seconds. You have the option of bringing your knee to your chest every time. Again, don't let those hips drop too low. Keep your abdominals pulled in. Support that lower back. Going back. 
Rest for 10 seconds. Let's pick up those arms with shoulder pump for 30 seconds. Beginners take the feet to the floor and rest whenever you need to. Remember to activate your TVA muscle guys to support that lower back. Do not push your abdominals out to the floor. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Rest for 10 seconds. Kneeling side leg lifts for 30 seconds. Keep your balance, don't swing that leg too fast. Beginners, again, if it's too difficult, drop down to the floor, lifting the top leg only. From your ankle to your head, should be in a straight line. Don't bend at those hips. I'm gonna activate that glute medius here. Rest for 10 seconds. Single leg shoulder bridge for 30 seconds. Beginners, if this is too difficult, put both hands and feet on the floor. Barely let your tailbone touch the floor. This keeps your glutes active the whole time. This is excellent for activating your glutes, hamstrings, and low back muscles. Rest for 10 seconds. Kneeling side leg lifts, 30 seconds. Keep your alignment, ankle to head in a straight line. Keep your abdominals drawn in to support your torso. You should be feeling this in both hips. Rest for 10 seconds. Let's do the other side with single leg shoulder bridge for 30 seconds. This is more of a tempo move, very little articulation to the spine. Powering your hips up to the ceiling activates those glutes. Again, beginners can do this with both hands and feet on the floor if you wish. Rest for 10 seconds. Up next is the 100 for 30 seconds. Beginners can keep both feet on the floor or in tabletop position. And if your neck gets tired, put one hand behind your head. Keep breathing. Five pumps with the arms for inhale, five pumps with the arms for exhale. Rest for 10 seconds. Next up is scissors for 30 seconds. Beginners can do single leg stretch. Keep your torso lifted the whole time. Don't let it drop every time you let go of that leg. If it gets too intense, swap it to single leg stretch, bending that knee. Rest for 10 seconds. Up next is roll over for 30 seconds and beginners can roll like a ball if you wish.
Keep those wrists nice and flat, applying the pressure through the whole arm and rolling your shoulder blades back into the mat. Draw your belly button to your spine to support that lower back. Reach through your toes. Press your head and shoulders actively into that mat. Rest for 10 seconds. Up next is roll back with a twist for 30 seconds. Turn your head, neck and shoulders towards your arm. Keeping those necks nice and long, pull your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Keep those hips nice and level as you twist to the side. Rest for 10 seconds. Get ready for side bends for 30 seconds. Keep your abdominals connected. Keep those shoulders stacked one on top of the other. Twisting from the hips. Reach to the ceiling. This is a really good way to strengthen those shoulders. It activates your TVA muscle and it activates your external oblique muscles. Rest for 10 seconds. Let's do the other side for 30 seconds. Twist your spine into that movement reaching under those hips as if you're grabbing an apple out of your back pocket. Rest for 10 seconds. We're gonna roll like a ball for another 30 seconds. Rounding your back into the floor guys, lifting those tailbones to the ceiling. Working on your balance points on your tailbone so as not to let your feet or your heads touch the floor, eliminating all momentum. You can make this a little bit more difficult by not holding the back of the knees and keeping your arms parallel to the floor. Rest for 10 seconds. We're going to open up the back with spinal rotations for 30 seconds. Rotate your arm under, resting the back of your shoulder and your head to the mat every time. See the difference between the left side in comparison to the right side. Inhale in box position, exhale rotate under, inhale, exhale. Rest for 10 seconds. Get ready for down dog, press to swan dive for 30 seconds. Now beginners can do this variation on their knees. They don't have to go up onto their tippy toes. They just drop to the knees, press to the mat, swan dive up, plank, push back into downward dog. Don't let those hips drop too low as you go forward into plank. We don't want to put pressure on that lower back. Keep those abdominals nice and active. Rest for 10 seconds. Last challenge, 30 seconds of moving plank. And beginners can choose to stay up on the hands and hold for 30 seconds or drop to the elbows and hold for 30 seconds. Rest as often as you need to. Do not let those hips drop. Do not sway those hips too much from side to side. 
This is really good for hitting those oblique muscles and strengthening your arms at the same time. And take a well-deserved rest. Well done. That was 20 minutes of Tabata Pilates workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I was absolutely wrecked doing it. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.